Now we want to go with the anterior leg and dorsum of the foot. So first let's go with the orientation. This is the right side of the leg and here is the inner side, medial side. So of course the bottom, the top part is here and the bottom part is here. So here is the knee area and I, as you can see, we put the skin incision along the anterior border of the tibia and then we go all the way down to the dorsum of the foot. When you put this incision, be careful for the soft tissue underneath, especially the branches of the superficial peroneal nerve. Okay, now let's reflect the skin laterally and medially. And as you can um, see, the deep fascia has already been removed. But before we go with the deep fascia and the muscle, we are gonna go with the structures within the superficial fascia. As you recall, on the medial side, the superficial vein is great saphenous vein, which is, starts from the dorsal venous plexus on the dorsum of the foot, and then the vein passes anterior to the medial malleolus right here, and it goes actually within the superficial fascia of the leg all the way up to the thigh, and then eventually drains into the femoral vein, as you recall. The other structure within the superficial fascia, which runs with the great saphenous vein, is this nerve. That is the cutaneous nerve from femoral nerve known as saphenous nerve. So then saphenous nerve actually supplies the skin on the medial leg, and then it goes to the medial side of the foot. Okay, in this specimen, we want to review the muscles of the anterior leg and dorsum of the foot. First, as always, orientation. Here is the lateral side of the right lower limb, and of course, this is the medial side. One thing actually you can see before we go with the muscles is the superficial fibular nerve. It's better actually in this specimen, it's shown better in this specimen. Is this, this, as you recall, the superficial fibular nerve is the nerve of lateral compartment of leg, and then it comes, it, it be, actually comes to the skin on the dorsum of the foot. Okay, now let's go with the, with the muscles of the, uh, on the anterior leg. The first muscle that we want to see is tibialis anterior muscle. So let's zoom in on the muscle and follow me actually um, when I um, trace the muscle all the way down. So here is the tibialis anterior. It is a tendon of the muscle, passes under the extensor retinaculum, then it inserts to the medial cuneiform and the base of first metatarsal bone. The next muscle right here is the extensor hallucis longus, right there. Okay? Now let's have a wild guess and to say how do we know that that is extensor hallucis longus? If you said that I only need to trace the tendon of the muscle and bring it to the big toe, you are right, okay? So then here's the extensor hallucis longus. The tendon passes the, under the extensor retinaculum. Hopefully we have a close up of the tendon here. When you trace the tendon all the way down, and as you see, it inserts to the distal phalanx of the big toe. Now let's go with the next muscle, extensor digitorum longus, this muscle, okay? The extensor digitorum longus, the other muscle of the anterior compartment of leg, sitting on the lateral side of the anterior leg. Then the tendon passes under the extensor retinaculum. And as you see, when it comes to the dorsum of the foot, it divides into four tendons and goes to the toes number two to five. Remember um, from lecture that when we call the, when we uh, call a muscle as digitrum, it goes to digits two to five, okay? And here is a tendon of extensor, digi uh, extensor digitorum longus. The last muscle, but the least, not the least, is or peroneus tertius. That muscle actually is a part of extensor digitorum longus right here. However, when we trace that all the way down, we can see the tendon of this muscle inserts to the base of 
fifth metatarsal, not really base actually to the fifth metatarsal bone. So then that is fibularis tertius or peroneus tertius. That's all about the muscles of the anterior leg. Next, we want to go with the muscles on the dorsum of the foot. The muscle on the dorsum of the foot is extensor digitrum brevis. So if we, if we actually pull the, the, the tendon of the extensor digitrum longus out of way, way, or our way, the muscle that we can see here is extensor digitrum brevis. The tendon of this muscle actually goes to toes two, three, and four. And that is, guys, uh, is an exception. The thing is, when we say extensor digitrum, we are expecting that the muscle goes to digits two to five. However, this is not the case, okay? The most medial part of this muscle, this one, is referred to as extensor hallucis brevis, okay? So right there, that is extensor hallucis brevis, and the tendon of the muscle goes towards the big toe because it's hallucis, and it inserts to the proximal phalanx of the big toe. So then practically we have two muscles on the dorsum of the foot, extensor digitrum brevis and extensor hallucis brevis. Next, we are going with the nerve and blood supply of the anterior leg and dorsum of the foot. So here is the head of the fibula. And as you recall, the common peroneal nerve or common fibular nerve wins around the fibular neck and divides in two branches. Superficial fibular nerve, which is this one. This is the nerve of the lateral compartment. So it supplies these two muscles here, and we will review that later. And then it becomes superficial, and it goes uh, to the skin on the dorsum of the foot. So that is superficial fibular nerve. The other branch is deep fibular nerve, which is the nerve of the anterior compartment of the leg and dorsum of the foot. So. In order to find that nerve, you just go easily between the muscles of the anterior leg and you find the nerve on that, on that region, okay? So then this is deep fibular nerve, which um, goes to the dorsum of the foot and it also supplies the muscles and the muscles of the dorsum of the foot and the joints in this area, okay? Later in another specimen, I will show you um, where this nerve actually ends which is in the first interdigital cleft. Now, when it comes to the artery, if you recall, the popliteal artery and the popliteal fossa divides in two branches, the anterior tibial and posterior tibial. The anterior tibial is the artery of the anterior leg. So this is the anterior tibial artery, which runs between the muscles in the anterior leg. And as you see, uh, hopefully if we can actually zoom here, that we can show them the, uh, let me go in here. So the interosseous membrane right there, okay? So then, then the artery and nerve runs anterior to the interosseous membrane, okay? Now we trace the artery and follow the artery all the way down and then it goes to the dorsum of the foot and it changes its name to the dorsalis pedis artery. As you recall, Deep fibular nerve comes from the anterior leg to the dorsum of the foot. So this is the nerve, the deep fibular nerve, that has passed under the extensor retinaculum to come to the dorsum of the foot. And then it supplies the muscle and the joints on the dorsum of the foot. And eventually it ends, it ends up in the first interdigital space. So then that is the deep fibular nerve which supplies the sides of the big toe and the second toe whereas the superficial fibular nerve, which is this one, and we will show you actually better view of that in another specimen, supplies the rest of the skin on the dorsum of the foot.